Oh crap. Not just gonna take a beating, so おれはよ。お前が正気とは思えねえんだ。組み抜けたその足で古巣に3000万からの何つったってんだ。どうげさしろ、どうげさ。てめえたちは分かってんのか、バイロ。なんか勘違いしてるらしいな。うん。あんたらに詫びれる気はねえよ。おとなしく殴られてやる理由もねえ。やる気などが。そ
おれやってみろ<笑><笑>早くやれやその代わりここが最後の一戦だすぐそこに阿波野の親父がわざわざ出張ってきてるそいつを承知でやるってんならその度胸だけは褒めてやるよ俺の仲間が血流してるはあ錦山とそれに立花不動産のお前のそれが<笑>あいつはほんの少し可愛がっただけですぐてめえのいいところ入ったよ<笑>てめえ何が最後の一戦だてめえらとっくにそれ超えてんだYou know, I might unequip the autograph book. Not yet, though. That's just not on. That's just not on. Just won't let me at the pole. That just means I'm gonna have to lay off at the smack of town. Let, let's have our bean paste bun. Hmm. Just what we needed. Is there anything that can increase our risk? We have ready at this point. We need to be that up then. So. Umbrella time. My umbrella, no. Oh, I was trying to pick it up. I want to pick up the big pole. I want it. Back off, mate. Oh, I was trying to be sneaky on him. Majima special. And that's for not letting me pick up the pole. Um. No, 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 no. How do I drop the weapon? Can you. Oi! 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 Look, guy, I'm busy trying to pick up all the weapons here. I'm about to drop the weapon. There we go, that'll do. Do not see I'm trying to mess around with the... I don't represent... Oh, I understand this guy. He doesn't seem to understand I'm just trying to mess around with the pole and smack him around the face. He doesn't seem to understand this simple thing. How dare you. How very dare you. You messed with my lumber, mate. It's not on. Get back here. Get back up. How dare you? How dare you, sir? How can I not pick up that pole? Ah, oh, there we go. Let's pick up the bat. I mean, the aggro from the autograph book is a challenge in of itself. It's fun, but... Kill 
組み抜けてからの方がよっぽどヤクサじゃねえか<笑>面白いもんだな次はあんたか<笑>やってみろよ切れよおめえなんで立花不動産にやる何分かってるぜ風間の頭に指示されてんだろ俺がわざわざこんな山で出張ってきたがおめえが立花不動産と絡んでろって聞いたからだ柱の息がかかったおめえがな風間の頭が橘不動産を使って空の一つを追ってると踏んでるんだけどなどうだ俺の言ってること間違ってるかどう思うがあんたの勝手だ<笑>もうごまかすの下手だなでも俺おめえのそういうとこ気に入ってんだなあ立花不動産もう空の一つぼの持ち主を見つけたのかそうかまだかそれでも手がかりこれは掴んだるはずだ俺は何も言ってねえぞねえいいわかりやすくて本当にいいや勝手にやってるなあキリュウよ俺に橘不動産の社長と合わせろやつはうまいこと隠れ回ってるようだな青にはおめえに仲立ちしてもらうのは手っ取るばい俺はもう堂島組を抜けてるあんたに指図される義理はねやってくれりゃ戦友屋の件は水に流してやるおめえ笠間が殻の一つに手出そうとしたこともなそれともこのまま的にかけられていいか堂島海参加の全組織からだ部署に逃げ込んだとしても無駄だぜ死ぬまで追い込むそれも楽に死ねると思うなやってみろ<笑>ちゃんと頭使って聞いてるかこれはおめえだけの話じゃねえその次へおめえの兄弟も始末する錦絵も《おめえのとばっちりだ助けてやれよ》あんた立花に会ってどうする気だ彼らの一つの情報を洗いざらい吐き出させるんだけどその後部外者にはご退場ねえつまり殺すってことか朝まで考える時間がある立花渡すかおめえが死ぬかどっちか選んで今夜中に連絡しろや返事がねえ時は狩りを始める今のは当然お前の首だ I mean, that went well. Not bad in terms of money. <laughs> Worth three times TV anime production cost. Chapter 6 The Yakas Away. Mama, more you. 迷惑かけた小田さん
キリュウすまねえ兄弟俺はまるでお前の力になってやれなかったいやそれはこっちのセリフだ結局お前のことまで巻き込んじまった悪い<笑>おいお前これからどうする気ださっきの青野ってやつにうちの社長を渡せって言われたんだろうさっきおめえが下で暴れてる間阿波野の兄貴がそう言ってたんだこれから堂島組が組を挙げて立花の社長を探すことになるってなああ俺からもお前を説得しろって言われたよ立花を渡すことがお前が死なずに済む唯一の道だとよう社長は今お前の濡れ衣晴らすために町中の情報を集めてんだその社長の首を堂島組に差し出すのかあんた黙ってろなんだと断りゃ立花の代わりに気流がまとにされる組織ぐるみで終われりゃいくらなんでも生き残れねえだったらうちの社長が殺されることは構わねえのかてめえらが霧を巻き込んだんだろうがよせ相手は怪我人だ錦それにいずれ堂島組を敵に回すのは俺も承知の上だった思ったよりそのタイミングが早かっただけだおめえ堂島組相手に正面切って喧嘩売るつもりかバカ言ってんじゃねえまさか親さんだってここまでひどくなるとは思ってなかったはずだそれは確かにそうかもしれないもともと立花社長は堂島組と正面から勝ち合う前に例の空の一つをかっさらうつもりでいた堂島組にとってあの土地は10億じゃ効かねえ価値があるんだそれをうまく使えばうちもカムロ町の一角を担う組織になれる堂島組でさえやすやすとは潰せない組織にただこうまで早く堂島組の幹部に目つけられちまうとはな阿波野の兄貴を甘く見すぎだあの人クセなんかと比べ物にならねえよ切れもんだとにかく社長と話してみるママ電話貸してくれうちが空の一つもの所有者を抑えりゃ堂島組と取引できる余地もあるだといいがよ社長織田です今は桐生とセルナって店にいますええそれで堂島組の青野が社長を渡せと桐生に持ちかけてきましたうちが空の一つを追っていることにも気づいてますだから社長は今すぐ身を隠してください俺はもう桐生は信用できないと思います社長を堂島組に売るかもしれないなおいちょっと待ていいんだ錦でもよ<笑>これでも俺にも社長がどこにいるかはわからないくそ悪く思うなよ騒がせたなママ怖い思いをさせてすまなかったうちの心配なんてそれよりこれからどうするのおい待てキリュウおめえどうする気なんだよ今さらジタバタしても始まんねえもともと組を抜けた時は一人でやるつもりだったまずはクゼを捕まえて
俺の濡れ衣を剥がす振り出しに戻ったなバカ野郎この状況でそんなことできるわけねえだろうそれでも俺はやるしかねえんだ It's a hell of a plan. This guy's very blurry. I'm back to clearing my name, huh? Come to think of it. So I've been back to give the empty lot a proper once over. Pops may have cleared out by now. Could be worth going to take a look. Go to the empty lot. Well, we're still carrying on the story a little bit for now, because remember the plan was very much like when we came to the next chapter, we'd go to side stories, but it's very much that case of... Come on then, you stupid goons. See, now we can... How dare you! Right, beast mode it is. Impressive, impressive. I want the bike, I want the bike. I've got the bike. There we go. Oh no! I just want to mess that with the bike. Yeah. I'm too focused on messing around and actually not paying attention to playing properly. But I feel that's correct as well. Yeah. Anyway, yeah, uh, what was I saying? Yeah, we're not doing side stuff immediately. Sort of. I'm gonna focus on this a little bit. Mm hmm. What's this music? Did Marina leave the radio on? Oh, that girl. Hmm. Am I supposed to turn this thing off? Is this the off button? Ooh, what's this? Okay. Guess I changed the channel on the radio. I mean, yeah, but the aerial isn't up, so how's it picking up channels? I suppose you're close to the surface, it should be alright, but, you know, it's still strange. As always, we kick off the show with shout out to our faithful listeners by reading off their postcards. This guy is as cheesy as it gets. I need to turn this off before he gets in my head. I'm thinking driver, okay. Hi, Dolce. Come here. I listen to your show all the time. Hello to you too, and thanks. I have a girlfriend I adore, but this morning at breakfast, we got into a huge fight. Doesn't sound like a complete part of anyone's morning. The argument was over what kind of condiment to put on the sunny side of egg. Why would anyone argue about something so stupid? I use soy sauce like any self-respecting Japanese man, but she used tonkatsu sauce. Can you believe that? Well, everyone has their preference. Since then, we haven't exchanged a single word. Some things are important enough to take a stand on. Maybe so, but some things aren't so important either. Yes. What do you put on your eggs? Come here. <laughs> Thinking driver. You're making a monstrous boo-boo fighting with you girl over something like that. You need to apologize for being so saucy. Whoa! By the way, I put ketchup on my fried eggs. What's the deal with this radio show? Actually read stories that insane on the air? Oh, would you look at this? It's the third postcard we've read on the air from the Thinking Driver. Congratulations. Thinking Driver, we'll have a fantabulous prize heading your way. Not saying what, but it's worth a cool million yen. Nani. What? A million yen? Uh. It's time already. Too bad, too sad, but that's our show for today, folks. See you next time. Okay, goodbye and see you next time. <laughs> What in the world is going on? 
If you read three of your postcards on the air, you'll win something worth a million yen. Makes you rethink the value of things. I mean, a postcard about Friday has got used on the show. Maybe even I could write something. Oh, Mr. President, you're here. Yes? Hmm. Oh. Where were you? We left the radio on. I'm sorry. I went out to buy some office supplies like pens, paper clips, and postcards. Nani? Postcards? Yeah. Why? Do you have something against postcards? Yeah. Oh, no. I was just thinking I wanted some postcards. Okay. In that case, I'm going to put them in the desk drawer. Please feel free to use them. Got it. Thanks. There's something I can write about. Maybe I should try sending it in a postcard. Once you complete certain sub-stories, Kiryu can write about the experience on a postcard. Access the desk to submit topics to the radio station. Maybe you get lucky and end up being featured on Dolce Camilla's Dolce de Postcard. Alright. Tarot. <laughs> Silly game. We had all that serious stuff and now I like postcards. Before I can write into that radio show, I need to come up with a good pen name. What should it be? Judgment Kaze. I should base the name off something I like. Favorite food, favorite color. Hmm. None of those strike a chord. Favorite song. Judgment. That's it. I've come up with a new recipe and Judgment Kaze will do. We we'll have the time to sit down and write a postcard for the radio show. Yes. Yes, you do. What should I write about? It needs to be a topic Dolce Cameo would want to read on the air. Hmm. Maybe a lesson in SMN. Go with it. Right about training a dominatrix how to be better at her job. Well, let's see. There. Oi. Marina, can you mail this postcard for me? Hi. Oh, sure, uh, of course. But, uh, whatever you do, don't read it. Hi. Of course not. Why would I? Never, ever read it. Huh? Oh, look, crying out loud. I won't. I hope they choose my postcard. Better tune into Dolce Camilla's radio show next time and check. I like that the sub stories have become a thing. Can I change my clothes yet, or is that like something in the uh there's a special mode or something, isn't there? Comes up later. That people have mentioned. Let's look at the real site. Payout ready. Lovely. Good, 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 right. Let's see what we've got here. The staff. Let's go with you. It's minus four at first, but it goes up, doesn't it? And that's. I mean, that's just good there. Up, lovely ranks up. Okay, so stock collection. Yes. I want to see about buying some other places, though. It's something I'm interested in now. Do we just generally wander around and find places? There's an exclamation, so. We've got blue stuff. Is there any other blue stuff anywhere else? Like, I meant to go over there, the empty lot, but... Hmm, because... That's ours, isn't it? Didn't, didn't we buy Serene? I don't know. I just... I just, I just don't know. Okay, <laughs> but what was the exclamation? No, what was the the blue then? 
Where's the exclamation? The exclamation, the radio. Dolce is on. As always, we kick off the show with shout outs to our faithful listeners by reading off their postcards. Okay. Come on, Dolce, read the postcard from Judgment Kaze. Lovely. Hello, Dolce Kamiyasa. Hello. I love your show, regular listener. Thank you. The other day, I became friends with a dominatrix who works at an S&M club. Oh, this is getting juicy. She said she wasn't good at berating people, so I ended up teaching her how to do that. Really now, tell me more, Judgment Kaze. That's a problem, though. I don't know very much about S&M, so it was pretty challenging. I learned a lot, too. Oh, really? And what all did you learn? Yes, does s &M interest you, Dolce Kamiyasa? Judgment Kazi. He doesn't know very much about s &M, but he took on the challenge anyway. That's what I call taking the dominant position. Could there really be a dominatrix who's bad at berating people? Please mail me the name of the club where she works, and seal that envelope if you don't mind. As for me, I don't care much for S or M. The only thing that whips me up is you. Whoa. Oh, it's time already? Too bad, too sad, but that's our show for today, folks. Right then, make sure you tune in again. Goodbye. See you next time. My postcard. That was my radio debut. I, I, I got an air. <laughs> Mr. President? Is something the matter? Uh. Yeah? I mean, no. It's a... Uh, nothing. Oh dear. Well we'll, well, we'll we'll end this part here anyway, and in, in the next part we'll see about sending off another postcard, and then um, maybe try and find some sub-stories, and maybe go to the empty lot. We'll, we'll, we'll see uh, in the next part. Ta-ta for now. <laughs>